My talk today is about virtual reality on the web, specifically with a library called React 360. Who here has heard of React 360? Raise your hand. OK, like a good amount, a good amount. Um, I uh, found this library, and I was so excited about it, because I was so, I'm so excited for VR on the web. Uh, you know, I, I love VR with the Oculus and the Vive, uh, but having these physical contraptions on my face with wires most of the time uh, sometimes is just not ideal. And I would really love uh, for just in daily life to be able to use products and feel like I'm in an immersive environment while I'm using them. And so that's why I was really excited for Facebook's tool, which is Rea uh, React 360. Uh, spoiler alert, by the end of this talk, I'm going to talk a little bit of negatives about uh, this library, but we're going to turn it to a positive at the end, and that's why I want Revel on my team. Um, so this, you might uh, have a feeling, uh, is uh, uh, React 360. This talk is virtual reality on the web. I'm VCOS everywhere. Uh, well, I'm, I'm VCOS everywhere. Uh, on Twitter, everywhere else as well. Um, you, you can follow me. I don't need validation. <laughs> You're not VCOS everywhere. You're VCOS space. By the way, I'm everywhere. Exactly. I am everywhere. Um, well, I, you know, I try to be. Um, uh, I'm at all 360 degrees, in fact, uh, is where I am. So what is React 360? That was, that was bad. Sorry. I, I, was trying, I was trying to get back to the slide. It didn't work. Um, OK, so what is React 360? It's an open source web VR library managed by Facebook and Oculus. It is based off of a library that used to be called React VR. Uh, that was started in early 2017, RIP. There's some stuff I really love about it, in fact. Uh, a lot of the tutorials I did when I first uh, found out about React uh, 360 was uh, React VR. And to be honest, I like it better. Uh, but it was rebuilt uh, from first principles in 2018. So how does it work? Uh, it's built on React Native. So uh, if you've used React Native or are a mobile developer, a lot of this stuff will be familiar to you. <sighs> Revel everything. You've just used everything, haven't you? OK. Um, so it works on mobile, web, VR devices. Um, it's built using Oculus's VR UI and 3JS. I, I, I'm curious, how, how popular is 3JS in this room? OK, OK, OK. Um, yeah, so it's, it's a lower level 3D rendering engine. Um, so what React 360 is trying to do is just make it easier to use a lot of that API uh, by providing a higher level abstraction for it. Uh, and of course, Web VR for the browser APIs and all of that on top of the browser itself. So this is like a huge hodgepodge of stuff. It's a surprise that it works, uh, honestly. Uh, so what is so great about it? Um, it is super easy. Uh, so what you do is you open up your terminal. You do npmi uh, global react 360 CLI. Uh, you init your project, project name or a different one. And then you start. Uh, so let's see what that looks like. Uh, if we. Um, so I, I already installed it because I didn't know about the internet situation. Uh, yarn start. Let's go back to here, refresh the page. And look at that. This is what you get. I changed the word so it says hello React NYC. Um, but that's, that's literally how easy it is. So let's, let's open this up and see what, uh, what we get right out of the box um, with. Uh, with React 360. There's a couple things I want to like uh, just call attention to. What's up? Zoom in. Zoom in. I will zoom in. That's, that's what I will do. Thank you for calling my attention to it. Is that good? Yeah, that's good. OK. So the first thing I want to call your attention to is so we, get, we have all these files. You'll notice that there's kind of it, it, what looks like two entry points. There's a client.js and then index.js. This is because what React 360 does is they run uh, the runtime for your React app uh, in the single thread of the browser. But your actual app is within that. And so that's in index.js. So let's look at client first. We have the React instance. We do a new one. Uh, and then there's two things. So we render a surface, which creates a root. Those of you who are familiar with React DOM, uh, will, that'll look kind of familiar to you. Um, and then we could, this is optional, set a background. We don't have to do that. But that is where we get our cool, uh, like, spacey thing. So 
we bring that back. Oh, I did. There we go. And then we init. That's it. And then from index.js, uh, this is just a sample component. It looks just like React. That's how wonderful this is. Uh, you export a class. Sample init is what I call this. There's views. Views are kind of like divs. Uh, th that's, that's really the, the only way you have to think about it. You can pass styles uh, in line. So there's a style sheet in React 360. And then text. Text can only have text as child components. Makes it pretty easy to remember. Um, so I said, hello, React NYC. Uh, maybe I want to say hello NBC Universal, and there it is. That's how easy it is. So that's what you get right out the box. Um, there's also a static assets folder. That's where you save the assets that you want. For example, the 360 image. Okay, so let's go back to this. Um, okay. The what I have done. Uh, in addition to just starting a project for you that you could have done in two minutes on your own, is I had some fun. And I found this uh, Creative Commons image online. It's very beautiful, I think. And then, oh, oh, what, what is that? What is, what is that over there? Look at that little cutie. That's an adorable little guy. Adorable little guy. Yeah, that's Super Smash Brothers. Um, uh, Kirby's, whatever it's called. I am not great at uh, objects, so I couldn't figure out how to get that Stupid little uh, invisible, invisible part of the leaves gone. If someone's good at this stuff, let me know. Um, yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't figure it out. Anyway, so there's Kirby. So let's, let's see how we did that. So first of all, uh, there are lots of websites online where you can get free obj files, OBG, uh, OBJ. Um, and uh, that's, that's all, all you need, really. Um, make sure to give attribution. And... Uh, ch -ch -ch all we did was in index, we imported Kirby stage is what I called it, and Kirby. Um, we registered the components with app registry. In client, we rendered to location. So notice this is different than render to surface. Render to surface is only for 2D. Render to location is for entities. Now, uh, I said the name, I said the word entity. Uh, entity is the uh, component that React 360 pa uh, gives you uh, to, pa to uh, render anything 3D. Um, so what they used to have lots of shapes available as well. That's one of the things I don't like about the new one. Now you just got entities. You had to pass in objects. And then this MTL, who knows what an MTL is? File. Do you know Revel? You raise your hand. Don't raise your hand if you don't know the answer. All right. <laughs> I think I heard it from somewhere, somewhere over there. Material. Material, yes. So this is what gives the skin on, on Kirby. Otherwise, it would be very creepy. And then you, pass, uh, you can pass all sorts of things. Uh, I kept it pretty simple. There's a style. Uh, you can pass transforms. So this is how you move it around in the 3, 3D environment. Uh, notice there's only a scale Y and a scale X. Scale Z is, is in the repo for React 360 on GitHub. But the NPM package has not been updated in eight months. And therefore, scale Z is not available in the package. <laughs> so let's actually go back to this, uh, this screen. Let's move around a little bit. Oh, this is a beautiful little view. Beautiful <laughs> little view. Oh, my goodness. I would love to be there. I would love to be there. Some great hikes, I imagine. Oh, and look at that. Captain Falcon with two dogs. <laughs> He's a dog guy. It's, it's, it's clear. Um, uh, Captain Falcon looks a little flat, I think. Um, that's because I couldn't figure out how to make him 3D. Uh, so he's just, he's just there. So if we were at a different angle, you would really see. I tried to hide it, but you would really see he's just two-dimensional. Um, and so uh, let's go back to this. Now, the, the last thing I want to show you is how to get your first component written in React 360. So see this green uh, square right here? It's quite easy to do. I'm, I'm very excited for you all to see how to do it, because um, then you'll be able to get started. And then when I have my ask for you at the end, you'll be able to uh, actually do it. OK. So uh, I created a component called React NYC View. I've already done all the boilerplate, like uh, rendering it onto uh, uh, location. 
Um, and then Nir told me that he thought me live coding would end up in a massive disaster. So I figured I would just do it. Um, so if it doesn't work, um, tell Nir he was right, I guess, uh, or wherever he is. I, I, don't, I only see Santa in the corner. Um, but I also have some backup, just in case. Um, <laughs> So uh, I actually don't know how I'm going to do this with an actual mic. Um, Use this mic on the Does this work as well? Yeah. OK. So let's export a default component. Oh, no, no, no. I want to see the front seat to see later. <laughs> <laughs> let's export a default component. Santa got me. We're going to, I know. I, it's, he's on the naughty list this year. <laughs> um, now, OK, now I'm actually all stressed oh, out. So um, oh my gosh, my heart's, my heart's be beating. I can't do this. Um, oh my gosh, I'm uh, export default, React NYC view, extends React component. Okay, we're going to render some stuff. Oh, that, not that. Uh, we're going to return. Yeah, please, people who, uh, who know what this is like, uh, please say encouraging things. So first, <laughs> First, we have the view. What is, what is a view in, in uh, like, what is the comparative like thing to a view? Yeah. It's, it's like a div. Uh, you had to wrap it. Um, you have to wrap your stuff in a view. Well, you don't necessarily have to, but it's, it's very useful. Um, and then uh, what we're going to do is we're going to do something. Uh, so we have this view wrapped, and then, uh, gosh, I'm, I'm sorry, guys. I'm, I'm totally, I'm being such a coward. I'm being such a coward. <laughs> Um, one sec, line four, export default, class. class. I knew I was missing something. Thank you, everyone. Uh, so I have a nested view. Uh, it has a width of 200. It has a height of 200. It has a background color of green. And uh, we're doing a little transform just to move it to where I want it. And what you'll see before I click save, I haven't saved yet. Um, Oh, I need to stop running this one. Yarn start. So you'll notice that nothing happens because it was still loading. It was still loading, everyone. Don't worry about it. Um, and then, so there's nothing here, right? So what we did was, let's, you know what? Let's, let's leave the transform off. So we just made this view. It's, uh, it's a square. It's a green square. We render it. Oh, I have hot reload on. I didn't even need to, know, need to do that. Oh, I broke something. Everything's gone. <laughs> Everything's gone. Nier was right. My whole life is falling apart. Um, oh, I know what it is. I, I didn't comment these out. See, that's what I get for cheating. I had something, something in there. Let's try one more time. Ah, there we are. And, oh, shoot, it's not there. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, oh, there it is. Weird. Weird. Well, that's because, yeah, I didn't have the transform. There you go. Uh, Getting get the punchline uh, out from under my feet. Um, that is because I sent it to, wait, doggo, not doggo. Where is React NYC view? I said get default location. That is 0, 0, 0. And so therefore, it's just going to be right under you in this weird little, uh, weird, weird, uh, little uh, vertical thing. So what we need to do is put those transforms back on. We're rotating x, uh, and then we're translating it, meaning moving it over. And I have hot reload on. Oh, this is another hot tip. Um, if you add, uh, this is not in the docs. If you put a question mark in hot reload, it'll hot reload for you, so you don't have to refresh nervously. Um, like I am. And there it is, right there. So that's how easy that is. And you can get involved too. You can get involved too. I did not uh, create a skip for this, so we're just going to go real quick. Of all the things I hate about this package. Um, so it hasn't been updated in eight months. That's a problem. There's no scale Z. How are you supposed to make anything 3D in a VR environment if there's no scale in a Z axis? I mean, it's in the GitHub repo, but it's not been published. There are very few primitives. So re they did the, this on purpose. Um, I don't know why. Maybe to make it more professional feeling. 
but they used to have spheres, uh, cylinders, cubes, like they had all this cool stuff, and you could just drop it in, and it was called sphere, and it was fun. But now you have to create your own objects, uh, which is no fun. Uh, entity. Entity is like a main component of this library. You cannot just import entity from React 360. You have to import entity from entity. I don't know what that means. <laughs> it, it's a bug. They're fixing it. Um, so please, everyone, this is so much fun. This is such a fun library. Uh, WebVR and React 360 specifically has so much potential. And it'd be such a blast to have production apps that use this thing. So please get involved. I already saw like 500 million ways to make this library better. And I want you all to help as well. If you want help, I will help you. Uh, I'll, we'll pair with you on the PR. And we'll make this happen. So thank you all for listening to this talk. And bearing with me through my live coding that I almost failed. Oh, I would give it a solid C. No, 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 you failed, you failed completely. Uh, one question. Yes, sorry. We know everything. Is, is using React for rendering VR on the web um, a strategic decision um, when we could be using something like WebAssembly or Rust that, is, uh, that could likely be more performant? Is that a yeah. good summary? Um, I, I think there's room for all. Uh, I, I think that um, the ease of something like React 360 is, uh, will be very good for allowing new applications to be created. Of course, um, if, if what is most important to you is the, is a, the most highly performant application, you might want to look somewhere else. I mean, that's, that's fine. Thank you.